the hurricane is good. And I'm being chauffeured, right? <laughs> I'm being chauffeured. And he's paying attention because I don't think he can see much in it. Actually, this is pretty much a normal day in Florida. Is it recording? Is it recording? Welcome everybody to another daily vlog. A vlog that happens daily, sometimes right in the middle of a hurricane. So we made it safe to the yard. I had to unpack my truck, so I got my drone, other stuff. I got my Osmo stuff in here, and uh, some dirty laundry. So I, I get to do that. I actually had to go up to Ocala, drop off my truck, I had to get some work done to it, and uh, hopefully it'll be ready tomorrow. That way I can get out and make some more money, more money, more money, more money, before my day's off for Halloween Horror Nights. Right now I'm just waiting for my son to come here, pick me up, because I'm not gonna ride my motorcycle in what you just seen. Yeah, I'm not that ballsy. Okay, the rain is really coming down now. It's nighttime. I, it is like nine o'clock at night. The storm is supposed to really hit in the morning, but we're it's coming in pretty good right now. So I'm gonna open up the front door, take you guys outside to see what, is it a hurricane? I don't know. It's Hermione, it's named. I'm just not sure what it is. And it just as I'm getting ready to take you guys outside, the rain on the roof seems to have slowed down. Let's go see. Let's go see. Oh, it's dark. It's dark. I can't see it. But you can hear it. I guess a tornado just touched down. Don't know where. Couldn't have been that bad though. Because it's really not storming that bad. Not like it was earlier. Yeah. That was just the wind blowing the rain. Who's that? Who is that talking? Who I, is that? I don't even know if you can see me. You can't. Can't even see the rain. You have to have face towards the light. Maybe in the morning you guys can see some. Okay, it is coming down now. Let me walk outside. It is insane out here. What's up? Hopefully the cats are okay. The storm has arrived. High winds, high rain. Wow, just listen as I keep my mouth shut. Welcome everybody, it is morning. Uh, <coughs> did not sleep too well. The storm came in about 1.30 a.m. I don't even know if you guys can see me, but the storm came in about 1.30 a.m. High winds, rain, uh, everybody slept pretty much through it. I kept waking up a little bit, but uh, it, it just seemed like an extremely heavy, windy, rainy Florida afternoon just in the middle of the night so now the storm has made landfall it's up north right now we're getting the tail ends of it it looks like the storm and how the circulation the tail is still passing over us and uh, I just I was laying in bed looking at it but uh, let's walk outside let's see what it's like outside it's wet and still raining. I guess this is supposed to go on until about 6.30 tonight. So it's going to be going on all 
day long. And if you look up in the trees, I'll try and hold still. You can see how crazy they're going. What are you doing, kitty? What are you doing, kitty? Are you hiding from the rain? Look at it. He's hiding from the rain. Hiding. Hiding. Here. Look at you. Here comes another one. Oh. What are you doing? Hey, go up here. Why don't you guys stand up here? It's nice and dry. Okay. Oh, boy, there's cats everywhere. There's another one. Another one. What are you guys doing? Sorry about yesterday's video that I posted and shared. I, get, I got notified via an email from some of the viewers that I should probably edit it. I don't know how to edit videos that I've already shared on YouTube. Hey, Mama Cat. Because when I was talking to the bank, and uh, I had my credit card in my hand, I made sure to put my thumb over the credit card. That way, you know, when I'm talking to the bank, I can give my credit card number and stuff. Because I haven't memorized it. And uh, when I was doing that, I guess... In the process of talking to them, I was moving my thumb one way or the other, and, and if people could have put it together and took some of my credit card from the where my thumb wasn't, and then when I moved my thumb, they could pick up the other end of the credit card, and they could have got my info or something like that. I don't know. Got me worried, so I just deleted the video. And it was a damn good video, I tell you. All right, well, let's see here. Mama? Mama Kitty? Like, how come the camera's turn around? There you go. Hey, mama. You keeping your babies dry? Are you keeping your babies dry? Yeah, it's this is the aftermath. The aftermath of the storm. I thought the storm was named Hermione. It's not. It's just. Okay, what's going on with the camera? What? I don't want the camera to go that way. Is it locked? Why did the camera lock? <sighs> Just one of those days. One of those days. You know what, Kitty? Your feet's gonna get wet sitting there if it's not wet. Alrighty, let's move it. Oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. it might be wet already. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. You wake up in the morning, I'm still lightheaded. Last night was the first time I actually slept in the nighttime in quite a while. I've been working overnights and uh, starting at midnight, driving for two hours and having to park again and wait for the hours on the government computer to reset so I could drive again and then drive again at night. It's like I'm always up in the daytime, always working at night. I didn't like it. But now that my truck is in the shop and hopefully getting worked on today, it should be done as this storm passes. Uh, I will have been totally refreshed, showered, laundry, and ready to start working the di 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 light, daylight hours again. Uh, uh, you know what? I need coffee, I think. That's what I need. You know what? My son, I, I don't know what it is, but he actually needs to buy some coffee. I went over there, there's no coffee. No coffee in the coffee machine. What am I going to do? I didn't drive my motorcycle last night. I had him come pick me up, bring me to his house. I have no transportation. And even if I did, I'm not going to go out in that rainstorm. A morning without coffee. You know what would be an awesome idea? Coffee delivery. Similar to Domino's Pizza. And similar to Hungry Howie's and Papa John's and all those pizza places. Pizza Hut their last in line. But somebody start a coffee 
delivery service. It's fine if it's Starbucks, I don't care. Somebody needs to create that. Where you have gourmet coffees delivered right to your home, piping hot, fresh lattes, mochas, something like an Uber system for coffee. That would be awesome. I don't know. I don't know what to do. What am I going to do without coffee? Oh, man, no coffee. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's weird. It is so weird being home. I, I'm not, you, I got a Dr. Pepper. That's what I'm, I'm stuck with because my kids do not know how to shop. Uh, and I don't have transportation right now to go get anything. Mm. And I'm really, really sorry about today's daily vlog. I'm not going to go out and do too much. I have no transportation. Can't do anything. So I'm going to keep this nice, sweet, short. First, I want to apologize for deleting last yesterday's video. I know I have a daily vlog and I'm supposed to upload a video a day. Now I did upload yesterday's video. It's just my stupid mistake, stuff that should not have been in the video that could endanger me. People could steal my credit card info if they so desire. And I trust pretty much everybody. So when I'm doing stuff and creating videos, I have faith in humanity that people are not going to do evil things to other people, you know? And uh, that, that's just the way I am. I trust people. And when I received that email from one of my viewers, hey, you should probably put a black marker, which I don't know how to put black markers. And uh, what, what is that called when you uh, censor something? Like if I was going to show my man boobies and put a bar across there. I don't know how to do that. Don't know how to do that. And especially on something that's already shared and posted on YouTube. So I went ahead and deleted it. And so I'm going to be missing a video in my daily vlogs. I apologize. I don't know what to do about it other than say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But last night after I was done deleting said video... I am looking at my laptop right now. I went and uh, I was creating, I, I, what I like to do is when I travel across the country, I will go ahead and pick some of the images. You could take a thousand pictures, a thousand pictures, maybe two or three of those 1,000 pictures come out really, really well. And I usually take those photographs and uh, I edit them down, have them printed on cotton canvas and sold in a store as my phone is ringing. An Arizona number. Who could be calling from Arizona? Don't know nobody in Arizona. Hello? Hello? Final warranty notice in the mail, letting you know the warranty on your vehicle has expired, and this is the final courtesy call to renew the warranty before we I don't close own a the vehicle. Fire. Sorry, I did not understand. Would you like to be transferred to a representative? Yes. Thank you for calling. This if your car has less fun. than one hundred fifty thousand miles, press three now. Or if you would like your number on the DMC, press Let, seven. Let's let's do. Three. Let's say my car has. Hi, Major Holding. This is our main specialist on the line to go over your options. May I have your first and last name? Bob Wheeler. Okay, I'm Mr. Wheeler, the year, make, and model for your vehicle. Well, you called me. You said my vehicle. You you said my vehicle warranty was expired. You you should already know my vehicle. Okay. Would you like to get some coverage for me, April, sir? Well, is my coverage over? You're freaking me out. This call is freaking me out. Why did you hang up? Why did you hang up? They hung up. <sighs> Telemarketers. Love them. Anyway, so what happened was I, I, I would edit my images down, print them on cotton canvas, and I sell those along with t-shirts cotton canvas framed images that you could 
beautifully put on your wall if you so decide to and it helps fund some of my roadside attractions but i also took some of those images and shared them across social media in case people wanted to put them on their laptops and stuff as a wallpaper because if you use black and white i like to photograph on black and white a lot of the times but if you use black and white it doesn't burn battery as much as color images as backgrounds like on your cell phone and stuff like that if you use a bright colorful wallpaper it will drain more battery than a dark black and white one so i tap in, i was testing out some of my images look at that came out awesome pretty pretty cool so i did that shared those on social media google plus twitter so if you guys want to use one of my images as a background on your laptop or, or maybe your cell phone or something like that please feel free to do so and if you can't find it within social media if you can't find it within my google plus feed or in my twitter feed let me know send me a hangout message send me some sort of message in email people are obviously are able to get a hold of me because someone actually warned me that i should probably do something about my youtube video someone i didn't know someone that just watches my videos and uh so it, i guess it's easy to get a hold of me i don't know if not my phone number i share one of my phone numbers directly on google plus as a contact number if anybody wants to contact me for anything from my website and stuff so let me if you can't get my images let me know let me know i think i even have my phone number on my website glassgeek.com i need to check that out which i did update my website last night too okay so after i was done doing this i also went to google play movies dun, 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 dun. load there you go went to google play movies i use a lot of different uh sources to collect save movies while i'm out on the road google play movies is the biggest one because i use google opinion rewards to get a lot of free movies i have probably 50 movies i haven't paid for any of them i use google rewards and uh and and generate money by answering questions through every time you get those and uh a little wheel spins and like a slot machine and boom you get 10 cents boom you get 80 cents or some weird things and it adds up pretty fast so so far I have pretty much every single Marvel movie except uh, the ones that I don't have which I do have just on other services like voodoo and and uh, my main ones is voodoo and Google Play and uh, Disney movies any anytime I think or anywhere which those are usually tied to Google Play movies so uh, I let's see shop let me go here to shop real fast shop 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 scroll down Marvel Marvel there we go show more Marvel now I these are all the Marvel movies all the Marvel movies I have them all except for one, two, three, four. I have every one of those except for four of them. Uh, but I do have them, those four, on Voodoo. But I'm thinking I don't really don't use Voodoo much anymore because the uh, mobile application uh, is kind of complicated sometimes to add movies and stuff like that. And it doesn't work with HDMI cables very easily, which is what I use to shoot video from my phone to my television. So I'm actually thinking about purchasing uh, the original Captain America movie, the original Thor movie, which I do have both of those, uh, Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2, because I have Iron Man 3 on here. Uh, those are the last movies I need to get to have them all right here. I, I don't know if I'm going to wait for my Google Opinion Rewards to build up again before I purchase those. I might get those today. Last night, I purchased dun, 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 The Incredible Hulk. I haven't seen it in a long time. And I figured, what the heck? I'll get it. It was on sale. And I stayed up until the hurricane 
made landfall at 1.30 in the morning watching that movie. Forgot that Captain America Tony Stark was in that movie. And it's weird after you're so used to watching the Avengers and seeing the guy that plays the Hulk now compared to the Hulk then. And yeah, But there's throwbacks there because uh, in that movie it was kind of cool to see Lou Ferrigno do a guest appearance. It was kind of funny to see Stan Lee's uh, cameo in that movie. It was just stuff I forgot. It was a really good price and, and it was a really good choice to purchase it. Uh, what I'm going to ask you, this is what I'm, if you stuck through this much of this video, this boring daily vlog, I'm going to ask you, would you just go ahead and pay for these movies? Get these last four Marvels knocked out so you own them all in one streaming source or just wait for Google Play Opinions and get them then? That, that's my question. That's my question to you. I was actually going to get the Rocketeer. I haven't seen the Rocketeer since I was little. Disney's Rocketeer. And uh, uh, and it was on sale. But I, there's so many great movies. I don't rent movies from these sources. I do purchase them. And uh, I don't know. I don't. I just sometimes have a hard time. Which brings me to a, my question. Another question is, what do you do... Let's say I'm out on the road. Something happens to me. I'm old. I'm old. I could go any minute. Uh, we don't, you know, this is our one go around on this crazy planet. You know, I, I don't, I don't think that there's anything afterwards. I think we get this one chance to enjoy the planet we're on. And, uh. My camera shut off for some reason. So let me repeat myself just in case it cut off. This could be our only time here in this planet. So let's say I'm driving down the road, something happens. Oh, heart attack or something, you know. Uh, slide off the road in some ice or high winds or rain or someone. You never know what's going to happen. I could just be walking in, getting a coffee and conk my head. We have a lot of our lives in the cloud, up in the internet, the web. We have social media. We collect and save movies on, on streaming services. We purchase them. We have online banking. So you have all your banking information. You have all this stuff. Who gets it when we're gone? I mean, right now, my family really doesn't know any of my information if I went today and I have money in my bank account how do my kids get that if I'm gone how do they before the government comes in and takes everything I mean if I'm gone if the day my kids no, get notified hey something's happened to your father uh, that uh, you know the the old soldier story where someone knocks on the door you know and kids open it and they know something's wrong the sadness where the tears come I don't want my kids to be sad I really don't hey we got a lot of years with our dad we're happy to know him and happy to know that he was in our lives but didn't he have some money in the bank account come on sis let's go to the bank grab that out of there before the US government takes it how do they do that I don't know I don't I I, I that got me thinking this morning. I, I, for some reason, I started thinking of crazy things like that. And it was because of the Hulk. After I purchased the Hulk, I go, wow, what happens if something ever happens to me? Can my kids have access to my online life? Can they have access to my YouTube? Can they have access to my Google Play movies, all my music and everything that I've collected over the years? Uh, my uh, photo galleries within Google Photos or Instagrams and, and every place where you s store and share and save photos and videos. Who has access to all that? How, how can they have access to it? And should you give at least one loved one or one trusted family member that information? Which is what I'm actually thinking about doing today. So I'm going to think about it. And when my son gets off work, 
I'm actually thinking about setting him down, somehow giving him every bit of information of my online digital life and some of the real world stuff like the bank system and stuff like that, social security and all that. Uh, he is young, he's 28, and uh, I, he, he might be forgetful, and I don't want to write a lot of the stuff down in case he moves or loses stuff and it gets into the wrong hands, so I'm a little bit worried about that. How do you do it securely? How do you do it safely? I don't know. Don't know. It's it's. Maybe you guys have the answer. Maybe one of you can create a video on what we should do as humans before we leave, before we no longer exist, before it was like after, before we were born. Which I wish I knew what that was like. I wish I could remember. I wish I could remember. God, wouldn't that be amazing? It would be amazing to remember what it was like before you were born. <laughs> it would be awesome. Ugh. Before your mind started thinking. Anyway, this is a weird daily vlog, isn't it? This is what you get when I have nothing to do. So, since I have nothing to do, I'm going to go ahead and keep this short. Once again, apologize for deleting yesterday's video. My mind is thinking. You know, this is how I think and how everything goes when I don't get my coffee in the morning. That's what it is. Uh, so I'm hoping my truck gets repaired soon so at least I can go up to Ocala, be picked up here, taken up to Ocala to grab my truck, and eventually find some hot Java. All right, everybody. I love you all. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you to everybody out there in the YouTube universe that is watching out for people like me and uh, sending us emails that uh, if we do something that we shouldn't be doing on social media, keeping us grounded because sometimes we do stupid things that could endanger ourselves and uh, without even thinking about it because sometimes we're just trusting. So thank you guys. So until tomorrow, hopefully we will find some something out, outdoors, outside, fun to video and explore. Maybe if I'm stuck here over the weekend, we'll just go hop on the motorcycle. There is a thing I want to document, which is Walt Disney's parents and grandparents' grave. It's a little bit of history here. Boy, a lot of death in today's daily vlog. But just down the road in Paisley, Florida, is some Disney history, and it is the graves of Walt Disney's grandparents. Yeah, here in Florida where they were going to build the original Disney World, but couldn't get water rights and stuff like that. So that's why Disney World is built down in Kissimmee instead of up here in Paisley, because he actually wanted to do the theme park by where his grandparents were. It just didn't happen. All right, everybody, until the next one. Boy, this is going to be a terrible daily vlog, but I apologize. I'm hoping that apology will be accepted. Peace.